Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. This is part three of three of the Cylinder Head Rebuild series. You can view part one and two by clicking the links below in the about comments. After a good lead check, you want to put all of your exhaust manifold studs in the back of the head. If any of them have the bolt on them, you want to get those removed and get the bolts off of there or put bare studs in their place. To get the stud bolts off is to put two nuts on the other end of the thread tighten them together to lock them and then break this nut loose either loosen it or tighten it down toward the other two and then pull them all off one by one by one all right after you get the bolt off of the uh, end of it because you got this bolt sandwiched in here the easiest way to get these two off is to screw this back in the head tighten it up a little bit and then pull these last two bolts off so let me show you how I do that. I'm gonna tighten this into the head till it stops. Okay, I'm getting this tight into the head. As soon as it stops, I put my little 13 millimeter on here to stop that bolt. Then I take this and back this out. Got the wrench on the inner bolt, and then I take this outer bolt off. Now I take this uh, inner bolt off by unscrewing it. I loosened that stud a little bit so I need to tighten that back in there before I can get this other bolt out so let me go ahead and tighten that in there one more time and do it pull this other nut off now that the studs a little tighter in the head you can go ahead and screw this last nut off leaving the stud in the head now I have all the exhaust manifold studs in the head all ten of them I like it like this because it's easier to get the head on and get the exhaust manifold gaskets in place when you have the studs on it. So now you want to clean this surface of the head, the bottom of the cam cover, and do your final cleaning on the bottom of the head. I use like plastic scrapers, little bit of razor blade, be careful not to scratch these surfaces, and acetone to get them nice, clean, and dry. You can look at the link in the about comments to the video showing you how to get it clean. And the next thing I do is put the exhaust manifold gaskets on. Your exhaust manifold gaskets are like three or four little sheets of aluminum or whatever. They go on one way. I believe this ridge goes against the head. So I place all five of those in place over the studs and now I'm going to tie them in place with some dental floss to keep them from falling off when you lower the head in place. I tie the dental floss at one end and I just go up and over the studs to keep the dental floss in the threads of the exhaust manifold studs and I zigzag through them and then at the last stud I wrap it a couple of times and break it off as soon as you start the car the hot exhaust is going to burn that dental floss right off so that's not going to be an issue again you want to finalize it by cleaning all your gasket material off your anaerobic sealant and your uh, ports where your water pump housing goes and then the cover you'll see these holes here where the oil comes through the oil the cam load you want to take some sort of metal I took a bread tie here and run that down through and make sure all of those passages are cleared out as well and on the head there's ports here that send oil down to your valve stem seal so you want to make sure that those holes are clear as well that's about it if you got any questions you can look at the other videos in the about section or leave a message here me and somebody else will answer them for you if you feel that this information was useful please like it and share it with your social media friends you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that i post you can follow me on twitter and if you need to contact me directly please visit my website and if you have any questions leave them below and someone 
or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.